What's up, Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. And today, we've got a Raiders 50 out of 50 plus Backyard Ballers 25 out of 25 team team with the new Gridiron Forge, Nate Hobbs, in the lineup. Nate Hobbs will be available on Friday, April 7th, and he gets times two Raiders chemistry. This is huge. I've been making team teams all year, and I constantly get questions, MT Squared, what teams can I pair with the Raiders for a 50 out of 50 team? There really weren't many options until recently because the Raiders had no extra times two chemistry cards, but now they finally got one with Hobbs. At this point, the new Hobbs card gets the Raiders to pair a 50 out of 50 team with a 25 out of 25 team with the Backyard Ballers, Dolphins, Patriots, Titans, Broncos, Steelers, Bengals, Browns, Bills, Rams, Buccaneers, Cowboys, and the Lions. So I might have missed a team or two, but those are definitely um, all able to be paired with the Raiders at this point in the game. A lot of people really like pairing theme teams with the Backyard Bowlers, so here we are. This team will have two open spots, so enough room to change out both of your playbooks if you want to do that or if you want to upgrade two of your players. If you do enjoy this video, drop a like down below and subscribe so you can see future content. All right, let's get into the squad. So looking at our offensive line, we're going to use our season three master card on Tony Baselli and put him at left tackle, 96 overall. We've got Roger Saffold, 94 overall left guard, Rodney Hudson, 94 overall center, Alex Leatherwood, 96 overall right guard, and Trent Brown, 97 overall right tackle. So pretty solid offensive line. Got a couple 94, so a little lower than you'd like to at this point in the game, but um, they'll get the theme team boost. So every Raider is going to get plus two to speed, acceleration, strength agility and jumping so obviously the strength and agility being able to uh, help out your offensive linemen there looking at our tight end position we're going to go out and get that free agency uh, master card evan ingram he gets any team chemistry we're going to throw raiders chemistry on him and power him up he's going to have 99 overall card uh, we're going to use uh, pat fryer the um, season three master i'm sorry tony baselli was the season two master Fryermuth is going to be our Season 3 Master card, 99 overall card, and then Darren Waller as our tight end 3. For our quarterback situation, we're going to uh, go out and get Randall Cunningham. He's another one of those free agency cards that gets any team chemistry. Power him up to 99 overall. Really solid option. Another really good option and probably a little bit of an underrated card is that Marcus Mariota card. So that Marcus Mariota card has Slinger 1, so he has the best release in the game. Um, so that's a really good card too. He gets uh, powered up to 96 overall and he's really fast. For our running back, we're going to use Eric Dickerson as our running back one with Cordero Patterson, Micah Parsons as running back one and two. Um, I'm sorry, two and three. And we're going to use the Trent Williams backyard ballers card as our primary fullback. And then our wide receivers are all studs. We got Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper, and Randy Moss, all 99 overalls. All of them can get to 99 speed with only one of the wide receiver deep route specialist cards that have the speed boost. Um, because Devonta Adams is going to be up to 97 speed powered up. Randy Moss, same thing. And then Amari Cooper is going to be at 96 speed. With the plus two boost that all of those cards are going to get for the theme team, theme team boost, they're going to be at 99, 99, and 98 for Amari Cooper. So you only need one of the deep route specialist cards to get the uh, speed for all three of them up to 99, which means you can use another rare strategy card somewhere else on your team, whether that's um, speed for your running back or your court or you know or one of the um, the quarterback ones I forget what they're even called honestly because not many people use them throughout the year because most people are using the deep route specialist cards or you can use one of those uh, like zone run block zone run ones where it increases everybody on the entire offense uh, I personally use one of those because I like the fact that uh, it gives boost to everybody in the offense uh, so it helps out the offensive line running back and your wide receivers and tight ends um, and then um, for the required cards that you're going to have here on offense because of the extra team chemistry, um, it's really just going to be Brandon Parker, uh, your backup right tackle. He's the stocking stuffer card for the Raiders, so he gets times two chemistry. And then all of your 97 overall backyard ball cards, all of those get times two backyard baller chemistry. So you're going to want to make sure that those are in your lineup. And then that Stefan Gilmore backup quarterback card, he gets times two chemistry as well. Looking at our defense, the defense for the Raiders is like really good. It's honestly a little annoying that the uh, Team Diamonds cards um, aren't very usable at this point and they're both defensive backs because 
we have to put them in the lineup so we get the extra team chemistries. So it makes it so we can't have some of the other better cards, but it is what it is there. Uh, for our cornerbacks, we're going to use uh, Randy Moss and Charles Woodson as our cornerback one and two. Nate Hobbs is going to get that 98 overall powered up card tomorrow on April 7th. So I have him, have him in here um, as your 98 overall. Um, and we even have another cornerback, which we can't really put in, uh, Brandon Faison. He was that uh, Madden Machines card, the free card that came out. You could power him up to a 96, I believe. Um, and he gets 95 speed when he's powered up. So if you had two of the defensive back in the zone cards, then he could get up to 99 speed. He is six foot two, which is really nice also. I really like having cornerbacks with, uh, with good height like that. Um, so you would need two of those in the zone rare strategy cards in order to get him to 99 speed. So we took him out for now because uh, we're gonna put in Nate Hobbs, that new card that came out uh, or that comes out tomorrow. Um, as our cornerback three and then we got to put in Stefan Diggs um, as our cornerback four because he gets times two for the backyard ballers and then our cornerback five Philip Buchanan is that team diamonds two card for the Raiders so he gets times three chemistry so we got to have Stefan Diggs and Philip Buchanan so you're going to make a decision you know do you want um, Nate Hobbs um, in there well he gets the times two for the Raiders so you kind of have to have him in there so you got to choose between like Charles Woodson and um, that Brandon Faison, or I mean, Randy Moss, you definitely want in. He's a six foot four corner, definitely still the best quarterback in the game, in my opinion. Um, so I would keep it at these three right here for your three starting cornerbacks. I think that's your best option. You can um, take out Hobbs and put in Faison if you really want. Um, you'll just only have one flex spot for uh, a playbook or another player. For our safeties, we got Ronnie Lott and Julio Jones as our free safeties one and two. And then we're gonna have Cam Chancellor and Jack Tatum as our safeties, uh, strong safety one and two. Another card we could not put in because of this was the Ted Hendricks strong safety card. I know a lot of Raiders fans like using that card. He's six foot seven. Uh, so the only way to put him in there would be to put Cam Chancellor as a secondary position uh, for a cornerback, or if you want to put him in over in a free safety, you could take out Julio Jones if you don't want to use that Julio Jones card, or if you just want to put in Cam Chancellor in for Ronnie Lott, you could do that too. Julio Jones does get times two for backyard bowlers, um, so you're going to lose one of your team chemistries if you take out that Julio Jones card. So if you really want Ted Hendricks, um, I would recommend taking out Ronnie Lott and putting Cam Chancellor in over at uh, free safety as his secondary position. Um, or remember, Cam Chancellor does also get cornerback as a secondary position. So you could put him in in place of Charles Woodson or, um, you know, or whatever you want to do as far as that goes. For your uh, linebackers, we're going to put Barry Sanders in as our starting right outside linebacker. I put him in over there over KJ Wright uh, because Barry Sanders is a really good pass rusher. So I currently use a triple 25 team team with uh, 25 backer ballers and I'm Barry Sanders on my team as one of my primary edge rushers. That card is really good. Plus he has the baked on abilities of edge threat and unpredictable, I believe it is, or double or nothing. It is double or nothing. Um, he gets those uh, two abilities for three ability points. And then we're gonna put Khalil Mack over as our starting left outside linebacker. And he's still probably the best edge rusher in the game right now. Uh, that card is really good. He's got like 95 or 96 speed, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and I think like 95 or 96 finesse move. So that card's really good. Uh, Luke Keekley and Junior Seau, uh, both of those cards get any team chemistry. Junior Seau is that season one master, so we're gonna use that on him. Um, and then for our defensive line, we got Danico Autry as our starting right end with Warren Sapp and Vernon Butler as our DTs one and two with Mac Crosby, Crosby as our starting left end. Required cards here on defense. Again, any of the backyard ballers cards that are 97 overalls, they get times two chemistry for backyard ballers. And then that Brandon Marshall middle linebacker four card, he gets times two chemistry as well. Um, and then we got Jack Youngblood, our backup left end. He's going to be our team captain. He gets times three chemistry. Philip Buchanan, your cornerback five. He's the team diamonds two card for the Raiders. He gets times three chemistry. Jack Tatum, your backup strong safety, is the team diamonds one card uh, for the Raiders. He gets um, times three chemistry as well. And then Nate Hobbs, again, he's going to get times two chemistry. That starts tomorrow, Friday, April 7th, uh, when that Gridiron Forge card comes out. Uh, you got to go out and get that um, Gridiron Forge 97 overall card. He gets powered up to 98. Uh, so that's the required, card, required cards for the defense. Looking at our special teams, we're going to go out and spend 7,000 training on Johnny Hecker. 
That's a card you can purchase in the training store. He gets any team chemistry when you buy that card. So we're going to put Raiders chemistry on him with Carlson as our kicker. I put in Cordell Patterson as your kick returner, punt returner, but you can use anybody you want. Uh, for our specialists, we're going to add in Isaiah Simmons and Derwin James as our sub linebackers, just so you have some extra options. You know, in over there, you can add in uh, Ted Hendricks there if you'd like. He won't um, get the boost for um, the Raiders team chemistry, though. Um, I don't believe he does. Actually, I haven't tested that out. He might actually still get the, the boost. He won't count toward your Raiders team chemistry, but he still might uh, benefit from the boost. Um, I'm not quite sure on that. Um, I'll check on that and comment on uh, that in the, in the comment section down below. Uh, for our edge rushers, we're going to use Barry Sanders and Khalil Mack as our edge rushers with Max Crosby and Warren Staff in the middle. And then I'm going to recommend putting uh, Nate Hobbs in as your slot cornerback. He's the shortest of your three primary corners um, with Charles Woodson and uh, Randy Moss on the outside. Charles Woodson is a slot corner um, archetype, though, so uh, he's going to have a, a better block shed, so you may want to consider putting him in at uh, your slot corner. I will put into the description of the video the required cards needed that you have that have the extra team chemistries. And that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, I hope you did. Drop a like and subscribe so you can see future content. And if you want to see a couple teams featured in a video like this, comment down below and I can try to get that done. And thank you for watching.